My name is Lisa, and I'm a housewife living with my husband, Kayasuk. We have a good relationship, and even after getting married, we still act like we're dating. I'm going to grab dinner with my co-worker Yamada tonight, so I won't need any dinner. Oh, the one you mentioned before. Are you going to drink? Don't overdo it, okay? Don't worry. I've got work tomorrow, so I'll just have a little. Lisa, take it easy while I'm out. See you later. Have a good time. We were living an ordinary, uneventful life like this. Then, one day, Kayasuk's older sister, Haruna, came over to visit us. Sis, you look great in that outfit today. You always have such great taste. Oh, Kyosuke, you're always so stylish too. Don't you think so too, Lisa? He looks just like a model, doesn't he? Uh... Right. Actually, Kayasuke and Haruna are pretty much a brother-sister duo with a sister complex and a brother complex. Because of this, whenever Haruna came over, she would always praise Kayasuke. Likewise, Kayasuke would compliment Haruna, and the two of them would be lost in their own little world, looking very pleased with themselves. To be honest, I found this a bit troublesome. But since Kayasuk always cherished our special days together, I put up with it. A few weeks later. Hey, Kayasuk? Next month is our wedding anniversary, right? So, I was thinking, since things have calmed down at your job, why don't we go on a trip? You mentioned recently that you'd like to take a relaxing trip somewhere. What do you think? Oh, that's right, our wedding anniversary. A year goes by so fast. But yeah, a trip sounds great. It would be nice to just relax and do nothing for a change. How about we go all out and take an overseas trip? It's not something we get to do often. An overseas trip? Wow, that sounds amazing. I'd love to go abroad. All right, then it's settled an overseas trip this year. And so, it was decided that this year's wedding anniversary would be celebrated with a trip overseas. It had been a really long time since we had gone on a trip so I was really looking forward to it. A month after this conversation. The color of the sky is completely different here. I feel like even the air tastes better. I know. And everyone seems to be having a good time, so the atmosphere is really nice and cheerful. Ah, I wish I could forget about work completely and just relax here forever. There are quite a few people, but it still feels so laid back, not bothersome at all. Kayasuk, you always work so hard. We can't live here, but... At least while we're on this trip, make sure to relax and enjoy yourself. Thanks. You too, Lisa. Take it easy while we're here. Like this, Kayasuk and I were able to spend a very happy time together. I wonder how long it's been since we last had such a relaxing time. As we talked about this, our trip turned into a very fun and memorable overseas vacation. Eventually, the day came for us to return home, and I came back to Japan feeling on top of the world but. Welcome back. I've been waiting for you to get home. Huh? Why is my sister-in-law here? And wait! What is this mess? Oh my gosh! There's food waste left out everywhere! Jeez, sis, you're such a mess, leaving the place in this state. You know you have to clean up after you eat, right? Wait, clean up. Kayasuk, did you know she was coming? Well, I gave her a spare key so I figured she'd probably come while we were on the trip. And, you know, my sister broke up with her boyfriend she was living with, so she had nowhere to go. I just felt bad for her, you know? Kyosuk, you're just so sweet. By the way, Lisa, your taste is just awful. Your accessories and clothes, none of them are to my liking at all. Oh, and I sold everything I didn't like, just so you know. What? No way! They're really all gone! Wait a minute! Did you even sell the ring? Of course I did. That ring sold for 500,000 yen. I'm so grateful. No. That ring was one of my most treasured possessions. Come on, don't whine over something like that, you're not a kid. By the way, why don't you hurry up and clean the room? We can't live in a place like this, can we? Clean up. But this mess was caused by... Hey. Don't talk back to my sister. She's family, so stop complaining. Wait, what? You know you're only able to live here because of me, right? I won't forgive anyone who doesn't respect my sister. Kayasuk scolded me, not Haruna, even though she was the one who had made a mess of the room. After cleaning up as I was told, I went to a place, 
leaving the two of them happily spending time together. A few days later, someone came to the house, and I invited them into the living room. I hate to spoil the fun, but Kayasuk, Haruna, it's over now. Over. Wait, who are you? Hey, Lisa. How could you let a stranger into the house without asking me? Excuse me for intruding. I'm here on official business. Is that a police badge? So, you're a detective? Why would a detective come to our house? Miss Haruna here is under suspicion of theft. I'd like you to cooperate with our investigation. An investigation? What? Why me? What is this about? Lisa? Don't tell me. Are you doing this out of spite because my sister sold your belongings? Did you file a report or something? No way, you didn't do that, did you? Well, what do you think? One no way. This is the worst. Does this mean I'm going to get arrested? Arrested? So, if you think that, does it mean you have reason to be worried? I, I have no idea what you're talking about. I haven't done anything wrong. That's right, officer. My sister isn't the type to get involved in anything criminal. And who even accused her in the first place? I don't care if you're a detective, if you do this, I'll sue you. We received a report from a jewelry store that there were suspicions of stolen goods. No way. So, the store clerk reported me. What a busybody. It's not being a busybody. Stop fooling around. So you made the report? My sister just sold them, that's all. Accusing her over something like that? I'll complain to the store. That won't help. We have solid evidence on our side. Detective Noah and Mia from the pawn shop suddenly came to the house, surprising both Kayasuk and Haruna. Although they insisted they were innocent, when they were told there was evidence. What evidence are you talking about? Lisa, what did you do? Lisa didn't do anything. She just came to buy back the ring. She was struggling because it was expensive, but she was determined to get it back. She clearly didn't act like our usual customers. So I asked her what was going on. Wait, Lisa, you went to the pawn shop? Of course. I told you it was a precious keepsake. You sold Lisa's ring to us without her permission, didn't you? I didn't know until I heard the story because another employee handled the sale. But once we found out, we couldn't just ignore something like that. That's when we contacted Detective Noah at the police station. We sometimes get people trying to sell questionable items like this. Wait, this was just recycling. There's nothing shady about it. It didn't suit my slim, beautiful fingers. So I sold it and bought a new ring, that's all. You sold my ring without my permission, didn't you? It wasn't your ring, it was mine. But Kyosuk said I could use anything in the house as I pleased. I never said that. I just gave you a spare key. Either way, that's just way too irresponsible. Pointing fingers and blaming each other won't change the fact that what Haruna did is completely unacceptable. Actually, I had gone to Mia's shop and explained the whole situation. Kayasuk and Haruna, who knew nothing about this, were taken aback. Hey, are you sure you want to keep that attitude? What will you do if I decide to divorce you? How will a housewife like Lisa survive on her own? Ugh, fine by me. I can live perfectly well without you, Kayasuk. Oh, are you sure you want to act so duff? You can't live on your own, Lisa. Who would ever hire someone like you? If Kyosuke divorces you, your life will be practically over, won't it? Stop talking nonsense. If anyone's life is going to be over, it's yours. Who do you think is really going to end up in a bad place, huh? Hey, what do you mean by that? Actually, I haven't filed the police report yet. But if I hand it over to Detective Noah right here, they could take it up as a criminal case. Don't be ridiculous. All I did was take her into the pawn shop. It's absurd to call the police over something like that every time. Lisa, if you keep saying things like this, I will seriously divorce you. You've been a housewife all this time, it won't be easy to step out into the world. In fact, you wouldn't survive doing anything other than being a housewife. You have no chance. Thanks for your concern. But maybe you should worry more about Haruna than me. I have this police report. Divorce papers and a police report. From a public perspective, if both get filed, who do you think would be at a bigger disadvantage? Faced with Kayasuk and Haruna's anger, I presented them with two choices. Then, the once-confident Haruna. Wait, wait. 
Lisa, you're totally misunderstanding this situation. I was tricked by Kyosuk. What? What do you mean you were tricked? This is something I really, really didn't want to happen. Kyosuk said, you know that we should kick Lisa out and live here together. What? Don't lie. You're the one who said that, sis. I never said anything like that. You said we should live together here and that's why you gave me the spare key. That was because you got dumped and kicked out by the guy you were living with. I wasn't dumped. I left him, all right. Enough already, you dumb siblings. Eek. Wha- what the heck? You scared me out of nowhere. Is this really the time to be having a pointless argument? Ugh. Even with a detective and a pawn shop manager here. Lisa. I'll cut all ties with my sister. I was wrong. Please forgive me. Thank you very much. We'll take that into account. Hey, why are you filing the police report? I apologized, didn't I? Don't mess with me. What happens to me if that report gets filed? This pointless conversation is way too long. Well, it was more excuses than conversation. This is all I can do, so I'll leave the rest to Detective Noah. From what I've heard, it sounds like Hurano was the one who actually sold the ring to the pawn shop. But it also seems clear that it was Kyosuke who told her to do it. Actually, it wasn't solely Haruna's decision to sell the ring at the pawn shop. Despite all their excuses, it seems that the two of them had planned this together. Any excuses you make now are pointless, you know? No way! I never told my sister to do this or that. First you lash out and now you're justifying yourself. I'm not justifying anything. I'm just stating the facts. Yeah, right. We're not lying or anything. Then why were you so panicked when the police report was going to be filed? Well, anyone would panic at first if something like that was being filed. Yeah, exactly. Besides, there's no solid proof behind what Lisa is saying, is there? But I heard it directly from you that you sold it without permission. But still, there's no real evidence for that, right? You two must be out of your minds. You've been talking about the ring, threatening divorce over it. Those statements themselves are pretty solid evidence. Oh, come on. I was just thinking about how I'd be in trouble if something happened to my dear sister. Oh, really? If you haven't done anything wrong, why not let us file the police report or whatever? Exactly. If you're innocent, you can just provide evidence to prove it. Besides, the police don't just accept a report without any basis. But a detective like you, who seems kinda spaced out, might just accept any report. Neither the police nor the pawn shop have time for this nonsense. We're both pretty busy. But in the end, there's no real evidence, right? Are you trying to lead us into some kind of trap or what? Kayasuk and Haruna refused to admit what they had done and continued to deny everything. They even went as far as to accuse Noah and Mia of needing more evidence and making baseless claims. Completely fed up with their behavior, I... All right, enough. Listen to this. Oh. Uh, this is our voices, isn't it, sis? Wait, no way. This is us talking about the pawn shop. I have your entire conversation recorded as evidence. I left my phone recording while I was out, thinking you might slip up. Looks like you fell right into Lisa's trap. You talked about the ring and even about using divorce as a threat. What a pathetic discussion. This is perfect evidence, isn't it? So, we'll continue this conversation slowly at the station. Wait, no, no. Lisa, this is not what it looks like. Yay, we were talking about the ring, but it's not what you think. How is it not what I think? You're clearly talking about selling the ring. It's, uh, we were just having a casual conversation about that, that's all. Who casually talks about taking a ring to a pawn shop? Okay, okay. We'll return all the money from selling the ring to you, Lisa. See? You admit you sold it. Ah, uh, that was a mistake. I mean, what I meant was- You still won't admit it. Honestly, that's impressive in a way. I'm getting a divorce, so whatever happens to you both doesn't concern me. Please, don't involve the police. It was just a momentary lapse in judgment. Think about how Lisa feels, having something so precious sold without her permission for such a stupid reason. We're really sorry. Please withdraw the police report. We're begging you. I won't withdraw it. Why don't you try actually feeling sorry for what you did? We're sorry. I didn't mean it when I said I wanted a divorce. Please, Lisa. We promise we're truly sorry and won't ever do this again. 
We won't be seeing each other again, so feel free to reflect as much as you want. Kayasuk and Haruna continued to struggle and resist, but it didn't work. When they started getting violent, Mia helped, and they were swiftly taken away. I divorced Kayasuk and moved to a new place. Because of what happened, Kayasuk ended up unemployed and had to deal with the house mortgage and alimony payments. To cover those costs, he ended up accumulating debt. Haruna got out later than Kayasuk, but she, too, was jobless and racked up debt. As a result, the siblings were left with no income and a mountain of debt. Thus, Kayasuk and Haruna lost their once ordinary but happy lives and were left to lead miserable lives, burdened with paying off alimony and debt. As for me. Wow. Mia and Noah, you two have been childhood friends? Yep, my dad runs a pawn shop. And Noah's dad is a detective. And to add to that, our grandpas were also a pawn shop owner and a detective. So, we've kind of been stuck with each other for generations, like a family curse or something. That's amazing. I've never had a childhood friend, so I kind of envy you guys. If Noah were a bit more, you know, buff and manly, we might have dated. But Noah's more on the reserved side with long hair. Wait a minute, Lisa, aren't you just as type? Oh. No, I mean, that's not what I... Oh, I'll go make some more tea. Noah, I set that up for you, so get it together. Sorry. How about, uh, I'm arresting your heart, or something? Absolutely not. Since then, we've become good friends, especially since we're all the same age. Thanks to Mia and Noah, I got my precious ring back, and everything was resolved. Luckily, I quickly found a job working from home and have been able to work diligently every day. This new chapter in my life is off to a great start, and I'm enjoying every day. As I spend time happily with my new friends, I'm determined to do my best with a smile, doing whatever I can to keep this wonderful life going. If you enjoyed this video, we'd be thrilled if you subscribed to our channel. Subscribing means you'll receive notifications for new videos, keeping you in the loop with all our latest content. Your support is vital to our growth. Let's enjoy and grow together.